Okay, here's the final plan on getting uh, the giraffe painted and coated. These are the uh, materials I'm going to be using to uh, coat them. First thing I'm going to use is the pre, um, the pre basically to wipe down the whole giraffe, get all the oils and the dirt off of it. It's kind of like just uh, cleans up all the crap you can. Then I'm going to, um, I might even do this first, shoot some of this stuff inside the giraffe. I've got this little nozzle that you stick inside and you twist it around as you're pushing it down. The, uh, this replaces that nozzle. And it coats the inside with a uh, really good rust proofing type stuff. It's made for automotive frames so it may leave like a little bit of green drippage underneath where it's leaking and I might have to clean that up a little bit but uh, it'll keep it from rusting. Finally after that I'm going to use the uh, rust encapsulator and I'm going to cover the giraffe with this stuff and it's a it's a silver type coating and uh, you can go over rust and it basically preps the surface for the next step which will be the cold galvanizing compound and this is a special type that Rust-Oleum makes it's the bright which is hard to find uh, uh, it's a zinc compound uh, but anyways, it's the uh, the bright, which uh, otherwise it'll be very dull, and I want it to be kind of shiny underneath. Eventually, it will fade out to a, a duller silver, maybe even a whitish color as it weathers in the sun. But for now, it'll be good. And it'll, even if it's white, it'll be okay. And finally, the stripes. I'm going to use this liquid copper coating, and this is like an enamel made. The only color in it is actual copper and uh, it will eventually oxidize in the sun but it does have a nice rich coppery look to it pretty expensive stuff uh, and I I know I know it's gonna come out good with that because uh, the artist that I originally talked with that makes giraffes uses that and his uh, finishes are beautiful so it's worth paying a little extra for that stuff so. The, uh, I was going to knock off some of this stuff with the cutting torch and kind of like smooth off some of the edges, but I think I'm going to leave it rough. I don't think I'm going to mess with that. I got enough holes, as you can see, throughout different areas that I'll be able to put that rust encapsulator thing into and coat the inside. This is my new giraffe mover, which works great. This thing is one bad wagon. Uh, it'll it'll take 1,400 pounds, which more than enough for this heavy giraffe. And uh, it's got some good pneumatic tires, so it goes over the trains pretty good. So I got a pretty rough backyard, and uh, this allows me to move the giraffe by myself. Perfect solution. Got it at Northern Tools. So that's the plan. Wife's out of town for a couple days, so. Hopefully when she gets back, we'll have a painted giraffe.